worth a try. Great day to be alive. Just finished the workout, got a little back and bicep. Starting my back day, I don't even call it biceps because I do like two fucking bicep movements. I'm gonna whip the camera out for this. I see the majority of my back exercises really focus on the rear delt, or that's when, it, whenever I'm doing it, I try to focus on the rear delt because in terms of anything upper body, basically I feel like it comes from the shoulder down. Lifting in terms of functionality, like all those things. So you have to make sure you're kind of like well-rounded throughout the shoulder here and all the way back, you know, especially for that aesthetic look. But it's the same thing with the legs, like everything has to come from your ass. So when I do my leg movements, I always focus on making sure I'm pushing through my ass because that's that's the most powerful muscle in your body and everything kind of works through there so the stronger you build that up and I kind of believe the same thing with the shoulders because that you know when you're doing shoulders you need those for your chest you need those for basically every exercise so I want to make sure that those are strong and they're well-rounded so I focus a lot of my movements on just making sure I hit those a little bit of cardio before forgot my headphones at home so I basically just look like a serial killer at the gym all day brought that regular headphones realized I can't plug them into fucking my iPhone 7 because Apple's the worst. Why would you change up the headphone slides and you just want to change the whole? You know what's also the worst? This turn out of Gold's Gym, there's a bush there so you can't see anyone coming. It's one of those like hope you could see and just like squeeze your core real tight and turn and hope you don't get smacked. Oh my God. My, whoa, that was scary. My car just literally went in neutral while I was mid turn. Yo, y'all could've just witnessed a crazy crash. I'll do it for the tubes, baby. Also, since we hit 1,000 subscribers this week, we're doing the 10,000 calorie challenge next week. Me and Steve are gonna do it. I think we have the date. I think it's gonna be the 21st. That's gonna be a whole video by itself. What we're doing is you have one day to eat 10,000 calories. Each of like, I'm gonna eat 10,000, he's gonna eat 10,000. It's gonna be a fun ass day. It's gonna be hard for him because he's just cel he's got celiac, so he has to do all gluten free. So I'm gonna be eating like sandwiches and burgers and pizza and shit and he can't do none of that. a.m. on Sunday morning. So last night, my cousin turned 21. We had her 21st birthday party at like this hall. My aunt and uncle rented out this place. I done it like 11.30. A friend of mine texted me, he was like, Get, come out to Hoboken. Not close to where, where I was at the time. I'm like, fudge it, man. I need a spontaneous ass night. So I hit my friend up, I'm like, yo, let's go out. Go to Hoboken. Hoboken turns into New York City. Crazy ass night. I just got home probably 30 minutes ago. Sun's up, it's fully sunny out. Ain't been to sleep yet. If you're my age, like, if you don't have nights like this, man, go out, have a wild, oh my God, spontaneous night. I ended up linking up with like six random groups of friends that I haven't chilled with in a, in a minute. It was such a good night for something that just happened so randomly. Sometimes when you're in a funk, you know, like you're not getting out a lot, you ain't meeting a lot of people like my asses because I work at home, I don't go to school, I don't, I don't work with other people. You need some crazy nights like this, man. It wakes you up and you're like, I'm like, I'm thankful for all the shit that I have and I'm just like, ah. What a time to be dead. Sunday morning, and like I said, I haven't slept yet. I'm gonna grab some coffee and it's gonna be a good day. Thought this was gonna be an easy installation. Open the box. It's like 78 pieces. That was a pretty epic time lapse. You know, the uh, I didn't even do that with my camera. I did that with my iPhone. And if you go to video, like if you're taking a video on the iPhone, you know how they have like panorama, photo, video, you can select from little options. If you go over all the way to the left, they have a thing called time lapse. And that video of me doing all that shit with my blinds probably took like 45 minutes and it condensed it down to like 30 seconds and it was like flawless. It's a really cool feature if you're unaware of that. But I got these brand new blinds because I haven't been able to sleep in ever because I didn't have blinds. These things are fantastic. They just like go wherever you want them to stop. Took me a while to set up, but now I got these bad boys. It's Monday morning. It's around 11. Time to get my life back together. It was a crazy, crazy, crazy weekend. A lot of fun was had. It kind of kicked off the summer, I guess you could say. First Sunday fun day of the summer of March season. And now it's back to business for this week. 
This weekend should be another crazy one, I guess. I'm going to Atlantic City Friday night and then grad party Saturday night. So it's gonna be another another bender for the boys. But uh, it's time to get down to work now. I'm gonna pack up my stuff, hit Starbucks. Fam, I got really bad news. Actually, I guess it might be good news for you guys. <sighs> it's off. After about three and a half months, the fingernail finally came off. Stay tuned, because we're gonna make a necklace out of it, put a little hole through, wrap it around, put it on eBay up for sale. Plus well, some kind of contest. This is kind of surreal right now. It doesn't hurt at all. I'm handling this a lot better than I did last time. Went to a doctor, I was scared. I had a bandaid on for like the last week straight, and I took the bandaid off and I realized the nail was gone. I was like, what? That's an update I have for you right now. How we doing? I'm getting hungry. I'm actually not even hungry, to be honest with you. I'm just bored, so I'm gonna eat something. I just bought these the other day from Trader Joe's. Grilled chicken thigh skewers with mango chutney. The fuck's a chutney? They look banging. So I'm gonna make some skewers. I don't know how to grill, so I'm gonna throw these in the oven because they have directions for the oven, thank God. Preheat the bow hunted. Then you cook for 12 minutes, throw the sauce on halfway through, and they should be good to go. So I'll let you know how they turn out. And so it's 150 calories for two of the skewers, 20 grams of protein, seven fought, 12 cabs. Good protein, good people, good times. Avicii on the beats right now. I don't know if you guys have ever heard this song, but it's probably the jam of the summer. This guy named Avicii, A-V-I-C-I-I. -I -I. The song levels, it goes in. You ready? I think it just came out last New Music Friday. Skew is it done. They're actually really very good. Highly suggest trying them out. Hmm. Putting together a Spotify playlist for the summer. Everyone keeps calling it Darty season, you know, day party. So we're gonna call it Darty Mark season. If you wanna go follow that, go follow the Big Dogs Gotta Eat Facebook page, which is linked down below in the description of this video. And then in there I posted the link to the Spotify playlist. It's so fact though it all comes full circle, your boy's here. It's cracking everybody, it's June 14th, Wednesday morning, it's about 9.20. Right now I'm just doing some work, mocking up some advertisements, a quick Father's Day sale, testing out a bunch of different creatives and whatnot. This is a website that I just started using recently. I was using a different website, but this one I just found is much better. It's called canva.com. And basically you can create any kind of image, any kind of design based on what you're looking to do. If you're like a creative type, Facebook ads, Facebook posts, Instagram ads, Twitter posts, uh, if you're creating a poster, if you're creating, let's see, desktop wallpaper, business cards, food and drink menu. Like this is good for any type of business, but you can literally create anything off of this. And the cool part about it is they have like the templates in there. So say you do click on a Facebook advertisement, right? They can give you a bunch of different templates to work off of, which are just like pre-made images that you can kind of, it's just drag and drop. You know, you, you throw your image in. If you're a business and you're looking to run like an online sale, boom, you do that and then you can mess around with the font, the text, the colors, throw your images in there. So it's a, it's a really cool website for people that do any kind of design work, or even if you just have a regular business and you have no idea how to design anything. Uh, it's Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com, and it's completely free. So some weird shit happened to me this morning. Hasn't happened yet. I woke up probably around like 7.30, was not feeling good at all. And I'm not feeling good at all right now. My throat is killing me. But I remember rolling over and I was like, oh, I'm definitely taking like a PTO day today. Like I'm definitely taking a sick day. And uh, cause that's, you know, when you're working a full time job, like you feel like shit, that's what I would I'd like roll over and be like, fuck this, I'm not going into work today. And I did that today. I said that to myself today, even though I work obviously at home for myself, it was just really weird. And then it was like, I don't know, I had like a weird feeling afterwards. Like, uh, I was like really confused by me saying that to myself. It's only like 1.30, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling too hot, but I, I finished up all the marketing work that I had before and I shot, edited, and uploaded a video, which will be for Thursday. So I got most of the work I really needed to do. Today, you know, I'm not gonna go overboard because I'm not feeling good, but I did knock out what was important, so that's good. And now I'm just watching. Chilling on the on the couchy, relaxing, watching Netflix show called Bloodline. The coach from Friday Night Lights is in it. Uh, I forget what his name is, but you'll know him when you see him. I'm watching that. I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day, probably recover because I got a big weekend ahead of me, and that's it. I don't know why I just felt like sharing that because it felt really weird this morning. Let me 
put you on the tripod right quick so we can talk eye to eye. Let me button this up because I look ridiculous. I'll do the top two because you can't tell the difference. All right, so real quick, I actually finished this whole video. I edited the whole thing. I uploaded it. I put the thumbnail as what you probably saw. Always be spontaneous, right? And then I'm like, I want to I want to touch more on that topic a little bit. And I covered how like, you know, that night I went out. It was really random, spontaneous. I wasn't going to go and then I ended up doing it, right? And, uh... And I was talking about how you, like, if, especially if you're my age, you need to be doing shit like that on the regular to kind of refresh your mind and reset things. And those are the kind of things, like, if, if you're being spontaneous all the time, you're really going to have no regrets when you look back. Because obviously, everyone's heard those like corny lines, like, no one remembers the nights that they stayed home or whatever. But that's just pretty true. When you do stuff like that, when you do spontaneous things, like, you never know, if you didn't do it, you never know the people that you would have met and the new friends you would have met, the new... Girls, guys, you would have met uh, people that you just would have, you know, ran into. Like, you never know where the night's gonna take you, right? Like, I'm not even kidding. I could probably think of two or three instances right off the top of my head where I wasn't gonna go somewhere, and then I kind of decided last minute, I'm like, screw it, let's do it. And on those nights, I met someone has played a big part in my life. That's someone that I'm like close to, or someone that I formed a relationship with, things like that. So, um, and I'm sure all of you guys can relate on that level. Like, there are. I look back at a lot of people in my, like, that I'm in my circle or that I've had, like, deeper relationships with, and, uh, a lot of them, like, if I didn't go to a certain place on a certain time or certain night, would never have even met them, and everything would be, like, different in that sense, you know? You can never plan that, obviously, but I just think, like, I'm at, like I, that would have been shitty if, you know, if, if I didn't go to this one place and didn't meet that person who, like, became one of my good friends or became someone that I got really close to, you know? So... It's kind of crazy when you stop and think about it that way because life's all about new opportunities and, and trying to grasp them, right? Like if you're doing these things all the time, you're not going to regret doing them. And me personally, I find spontaneity and people being spontaneous as the most attractive quality in another person. I'm not just talking about like girls wise, like relationships wise. I'm talking about like friends too. Like, yeah, I want you to comment down below. Like, what is the most attractive feature of another person? Friend, relationship, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it is. Like I said, for me, it's spontaneity is up there. If not number one, it's like definitely like top two or three. I consider myself a super spontaneous person. I'll do anything. One of my friends just walked in the door right now and was like, bro, we're taking a trip to Carolina. Pack your shit. We'll be back in two days. I'll be like, uh, all right, we out. Let's go. One of my friends walked in and was like, yo, we're going to get a tattoo right now. I don't know what we're getting. Let's go. I'd be like, fuck yeah, sign me up. So I consider myself super spontaneous. And when I meet someone else that's like on the same level as me, that's always down to do fun things, whether they might be a little risky, whether they might be, you know, a little questionable. Those are the kind of, that's the kind of shit I appreciate in other people. Because the best times always come from when you're doing things like that. Things that you never could have imagined always come out of those situations. So I implore anyone who's like my age, next time, you know, you have a decision and you're like, ah, should I do it? Should I not do it? Say yes, do that shit because I bet you won't regret it. And that's that. See, I only had two buttons. All right, so I know there wasn't a lot of action this week. I don't think, I don't remember what I did, but that's gonna wrap up the video here. Next video will be fun though, cause I'm going to AC tomorrow. So I'm gonna do like an Atlantic City vlog kind of thing. And then we also do the 10,000 calorie challenge next week on Wednesday. So there'll be, uh, that'll be its own video, but there'll be clips of it throughout here. So it'll be a good episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoyed, give that thumbs up button, share, whatever you gotta do. We're trying to get big dogs global, baby. See y'all next time. Peace. You're the one I want to come back home to. Don't you know? I've been taking everything for granted. Should have told you from the day this started.